Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming by today. Today we are going to make an awesome, fun DIY from a, of course, hanger. And of course, the stuff that I put in there are from the Dollar Tree. You can also get the hanger at the um, dollar store as well. I think they have the large one, but you can also get those. But for me, I use my hanger that's been sitting at the garage from where my children were so tiny. So they have, you know, those tiny hangers for their tiny clothes. So I use that and yes, good thing I have those color white hanger. <laughs> So I use my hangers. So if you have a small hanger, you can find it, use it. And if you can't find small hanger, go to the dollar store. I think it's six piece of a hanger is a dollar. I think, I'm not sure, don't take my word. But yeah, everything that I use are from the dollar store and I hope you like it. And let's go have fun and make all these cross sign and then the angel and then the snowflakes and of course yeah thank you for staying with me disclaimer i am not the original of making all those i got those inspired from pen to rest so here we go let's get started and let's get into it here we go <laughs> okay so the number one that we need is a hanger a zip tie if you don't have a zip tie, you can also use a glue gun. And if you want to add up some more, you can have some of this clear mini lights. And I got this from the Family Dollar, I think. And it's only $2.75. And you can also add up a garland if, if whatever you want, how it goes. And it depends on your style or your design okay so this is what I'm gonna use and I don't know if I'm going to use this so we'll see how it goes all right so let's get started all right so I just removed my mat down here I usually have to have a mat but first you are going to make an angle just like this like this hook is going to be facing to the right it's up to you how you do it but this is how I'm going to do mine so three first just like that that they form a circle down here in this area always glue gun it but I'm not going to because I'm going to have it forever so I'm going to use a zip tie so it's more secure so you make sure when you zip tie it make sure you zip tie it at the bottom so they're not going to be shifting okay so one here at the top and one here at this angle so you are going to make four of these so one two three four so next you're going to need one of your um, corners that you just built and then you are just going to zip tie this hanger down here okay so you will add one on this end and one on this end so you are going to make the zip tie secure down here on these both corners just like how just like what I'm doing right now because you don't want your hanger is going to be shifting so you just have to secure it with a zip tie another more on that corner all right so that is secured and it's not moving and you can zip tie more if you want to maybe add another more zip tie on this corner all right 
So there you go. We have one and then added two on this side. All right, so to create a corner or a cross of the cross is you are going to grab another one. So this is what we did earlier on the other side. So you just have to, it's like a puzzle. So you just have to zip tie this end again, okay? already created a cross on that corner okay so next is all you have to do is once you create that you just have to add this onto the top okay so let's put them on zip tie them again There you go there is our cross and I'm going to make this one stand and I hope you will see what I just did I'm going to cut this ties that I just zip on it or closed it so it's not going to be everywhere so after this I'm going to show you guys how this one was decorated okay Alright, so next what we are going to make is an angel. So first I'm going to make a head of an angel for now. So I got this at the Goodwill and I don't know what is this for. But I'm going to paint this with this paint down here. And I am going to cover it with these beads. <music> So 
so now it is already dry what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this up with this beads okay or this pearl ish somehow beads around to this circle okay so bear with me and check this out guys it looks so pretty so this is just a happy accident i found this circle I don't know what is this for but I just grab it over there because I could not find any round ones and yeah so this is what I found this I, I found this at the Goodwill and the beads also from the Goodwill and I'm just trying to cover this up with these beads okay so there you go and I think that's it and I'm just going to glue this one here at the way end so hopefully and i'm gonna show you guys how this one looks and look how beautiful that is guys with the pearl ish necklace isn't that pretty so that is going to be our angel hair for our hanger so i'm going to show you how this one goes and they are so beautiful you guys super pretty all right so that's the angel's head so let me make sure that this one is glued all the way in because it's kind of dangling so there you go that is just too pretty you guys oh i'm so so happy all right let's go get started and build our angel all right so first what you need to do is you are going to make your hanger facing this way to the right where the hook ends so what you need to do is you are just going to create a look-alike heart in here in this area so you can make it almost like that you can zip tie here and you zip tie down in that area okay <music> So it should look like this and you are going to make another one right here two of these okay so you have to make the same way but it's going to be facing on the other side okay and this angle is going to be facing here and you are just going to make the same way to create like a heart on the other side okay so that is what we are trying to do right now and I'm just going to tie this up again two of these so this is going to be the bottom hem of our angel so what I want is I want you guys to zip tie here and zip tie in this end so next is we are going to make a wings all right so let's make a wings now since we did a bottom skirt of our angel now let's put that aside so now we are going to create a wings what you need to do is you are going to make your hanger goes like this facing down and the loop goes right there so what you are trying to do is you are going to create a circle circle loop like like that so it should like they meet together on both end 
and it will create a circle loop of your wings. So this is going to be the wings, all right? And zip tie it. What I did is I zip tie the end, the middle right here, and then this end. So one, two, three, zip tie, okay? We are going to create two of these, all right? Okay, so this is our wings. All right, so this is the wings it sh should look like, all right? So you got the bottom skirt and then the wings. All right, so remember, this is the bottom skirt of our angel. So what you're gonna need is you are going to get another hanger. So it should goes on that end right there where it should goes your, some of that area. So you just have to zip down here and grab another one. So it should be on this end just like that. So they look like they meet down here in this area. And one hanger to make this hanger goes like that, okay? So it should look like this. All right, so like that. And you tie it on this end and in this end so they meet on that bottom, okay? So first is you are going to zip tie this one. You just have to zip tie that area so they look like a dress of an angel. All right, and then tie it up on this end so they're not going to be shifting. So I'm giving you an idea, so it should look like this, all right? So another more in this area, you just have to tie it. Okay, so tie it on this end again. Alright, now you already make a skirt of your angel down here and all you have to do is you just have to tie this up down here. Okay, so this area and then this area. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so with this shoulder and then the shoulder. Okay, just zip tie it just like that. Right, so you can see how it goes in this middle down here and then the hanger is facing down and as you can see it's not moving so next is you are going to put your wings down here so that's why you have to meet on this shoulder area of the angel and you just have to zip tie them again now this is the wings of your angel okay so I'm also using the small size of a hanger. So if you want to use the big hanger, you can. But right now, I'm just going to use what I have, which is the small hanger. And I'm just going to secure this up just like so. So they look like a wings of an angel. And 
can secure it if you want to, but I think it's already more secure. And I'm going to zip tie this one again down here. Alright, so there is your angel. Super cute. And all you have to do is you just have to put the head down here. Just like that. And then what you can do is you can also zip tie that one over there. Okay, so I'm going to try to zip tie this one closest. So you just have to make sure that the zip tie is holding all the way to the bottom of the angel's head, okay? So just like that. There you go. So there is your angel head. And all you have to do is you can just put a hook down here and you are good to go in doing your angel. And then there you go. There is your angel angel's head and you can decorate it put some lights down here on the side if you have the light and right now i am just going to remove all these strings of a zip tie and i'll show you how i decorate mine you can do whatever how you want to decorate yours so right now i'm going to do, decorate mine how i want it so right now all i have is this bell from the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to use this, put them right here and hook it right there and it looks like the angel is holding a bell, all right? So it should look like that. You can either decorate it on how you want it, just like these, but it's kind of awkward for this right now because there's a circle and then the head has a circle. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to hook that in there like so, like the angel is holding the bell. All right, so I'm going to show you how it looks like. All right. So we are going to make a snowflakes. Next is we need is, of course, the same one, a hanger and a zip tie. This is the most important one. You can use a glue gun if you want to, but I'm not going to use a glue gun because the reason is in case if I'm going to give it away or I'm going to stay it lasting, especially if I want to use it next year, I'm going to use a zip tie. Okay, so let's make a snowflakes. The snowflakes is going to be the easier one, so this is what I'm going to do is you have to make your hanger face like this, like their hook is in the same going downward, so then you can start zipping or tying them up, alright? So that's why I want to use a zip tie so it's more secure and sturdy, alright? So let's zip them up. <music> So now they were zipped. Okay, so you are going to make four of these. 
All right, so once you make all those four, you are going to make your hanger face down like this. It's just going to connect the end to end. So the other hanger, and then this way, and then it will create a cross sign, okay? So all you have to do is just zip tie it all together. You can make them connect on the middle, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it just like so, okay? So it's like cross, right? And I'm going to start zipping them up, all right? are more secured and now we are going to make two of these okay so the same procedure that we did earlier so I'm going to show you guys how to connect them all together so it should look like this all right so here we go just like that and I'm going to show you guys how they look when they're done okay all right so i finished one and i make two of that snowflakes so all you have to do is next is you are just going to arrange them and how you want them to be as you can see i put this long one end of the shoulder of the hanger and just do it just like that and then zip tie them again and somehow you will create a snowflake. So I'm going to zip tie them all together and I'll show you how it goes, okay? So first I'm going to remove this one first because it's going to be on the way when I'm trying to zip tie them. Okay, so remove all these first. All of these. to do since it's already cut down all those strings from the zip tie so what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to zip tie them again just like this and there you go I'm going to keep this one going and I will show you how it goes when they're all together okay so here I come So that's it and there is your snowflakes you can put this at your door if you want to but right now I'm going to decorate this one and of course I'm going to remove the stringies of these um, zip tie and yes I'm going to decorate this one and you can decorate yours however you want it but this is how I want mine okay so stay tuned <music>
do you think about that DIY? I really enjoyed it and of course, yeah, you can grab that zip tie at the Dollar Tree as well. And I think it's mixed with black or white or somehow green and red. So if you can grab the ones that you want, hopefully it's a bundle. The one that I have is I got them as well from, no, not at the Dollar Tree, but I got mine from Home Depot because I need a bunch <laughs> i really need a bunch so yeah i grabbed mine from home depot and i seen at the dollar tree they have a dollar zip tie over there by the tool area so yeah grab them and yes thank you for staying with me and you guys are awesome and thank you thank you thank you for being there with me all the time for giving me a thumbs up and subscribing on my channel thank you thank you so much much i really appreciate it yeah come back next time see you soon and hopefully you're going to come back next time and yeah see you soon and thank you so much for staying with me you guys are awesome thank you and have a nice day bye